Hi, on this video we will discuss how to display the average rate for each design inside the home page. We will discuss also how to arrange the designs based on the rate in a way that makes the highly rated designs displayed first before the low rated designs. So let's go ahead and start. At the beginning, let's open default.svx then press F7 to open the code behind page file and let's go to notepad and copy those two functions here those two functions are doing the same like the two functions that we have written on the previous lessons one of them is calculating the total number of votes whereas the other is calculating the average rate for each design both of them are accepting the design ID as a parameter now let's see how to take advantage from both functions on the default page. In the default page and here inside the dev which has the class name of dev design name and after the design name I will add another dev element which carries a class of rate. Let's copy this dev element here and paste it here. So as you can see there is two spans inside this dev element. One has a class of average where, whereas the other has a class of clicks. The clicks is displaying the number of votes this is our function here that we have just pasted inside the default.spx.vb so those are the two functions we have just pasted and now it's time to apply the rate plugin over the dev which has a class of rate but first let's install the rate plugin on the default.spx page by going to the top here and add a new link for the rate this is the plugin rate master lib and make a reference for both files now it's ready let's open now the default.js and somewhere here inside the on dom ready function i will type our code here so let's copy this code from notepad and paste it here and as you can see any element which has a class of rate the code will first start searching inside this element for two elements the first one has a class average and the other one has a class clicks which has a total number of votes written inside then save the contents of each element inside a variable then use the value variable inside the rate plugin as a score and display the clicks and the value variables as a tooltip over each star image expected to be generated after applying the rate plugin inside the current div element Okay, let's open default view in browser and here we go if you hover over any star of the five stars you will get the tooltip here the average and the number of votes because the number of votes are very important for example let's assume a design that has an average rate of five and a number of votes of one this doesn't necessarily mean that this is an excellent design as five stars in this case represents one person's point of view this is why in the next step we will add an option to the sort by drop down menu that should enable the user to order designs by average rate then by number of votes in case there are two designs holding the same average rate so in order to do that i will go here to the default.spx.vb and i will add a fourth case here which is the average rate so to do that let's go here and copy then paste okay and as you can see here the order by orders the design descendingly according to the average rate subquery then descendingly according to the number of votes subquery but in order for this code to work we have to add a force choice to the sort by drop down list so i will just copy one of the choices and type the value rate and type here average rate so let's rebuild our solution then refresh our page okay if you open the drop down list right now there is something here called average rate if you click it then click on go this is what you will get at the end the highly rated designs appears at the beginning followed by the lower rated designs Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please press like.